So, Cuvember. <laughs> it's actually a really fun monthly challenge where you use a different hue each day of the month and you can obviously change the saturation and the tone to your desire, but you're supposed to like focus on a main hue each and every day. And I've been doing this on my own time <laughs> digitally and uh, it's been fun. I want to celebrate Cuvember in today's video. So let's jump into my sketchbook. I'm gonna pick a page that has a space between like my most recent art in it. That way I can use markers and not worry about disrupting any sketches that I might like. And I think what would be fun today is to just draw a couple characters with a different hue for each. So it's kind of a celebration of Huevember without actually being too strict. Okay, <laughs> I think this is gonna be a long one. Might wanna hunker down and grab your sketchbook. I'm probably gonna use a mixture of like Ohu and Copic markers, depending on what colors I choose. I think I wanna start with like yellow, orange, red, purple or we could even go more incremental than that but let's start with a pencil still have yet to find my good mechanical pencil but luckily we have a backup <laughs> so this first character i want to definitely be just yellow and yellow is a color that makes me think of like happiness and good days and sunshine and things like that so i definitely want a very happy character so let's just kind of draw out a fun happy pose Maybe it's a little bouncier, so it, all the weight is being put on one leg, and the other one can be kind of like, you know, floating in the background. They're light on their feet with joy. Can pull the arms back a little bit for a little extra confidence. Big high arched eyebrows. Can make the character look happier. I think I want to pull the arms up for a little bit more of a happy vibe. Let's do one of those like, hee, selfies. Now looking at the character's body shape, it looks kind of muscly to me, like really nice muscles right here. So maybe we should kind of play up that aspect of maybe this is an athletic character. They work out a lot, so those endorphins are just making them so, so happy. <laughs> so how about maybe a sweatband with a messy bun? Maybe two messy buns? Let's go for a pretty athletic outfit maybe. Add a little bit of tone here. And then some kind of fun sneakers for the shoes. The big expressive tongue. <laughs> so funny that that's called the tongue of the shoe because it kind of looks like a tongue. I mean, that's probably why. I'm going to cut the leggings off at an angle too. Oh, that seems interesting. Let's add some interesting design elements, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know. Pretty happy with this one and I didn't even take up too much space so I might even be able to fit three characters if I'm lucky. Now, when it comes to coloring this, we're only gonna have one hue, right? But we can adjust the saturation and the tone. I'm not entirely sure how I would get about that with markers, but let's see what we got. So with Copic, since they have that really cool color chart, we can make sure we only pick ones that have a Y in the front. Don't want any YRs for sure. And then from here, I can look at them and see which ones have more saturation. Let me see what I got in Oh, who markers? These two. Let me swatch these out. Let's see what this oh who marker looks like next to it. This is a really good example of why I like Copic markers, is the amount of light tones that you can get. Whereas this is like one of the lightest oh who markers that they have right now, and it's significantly darker than that one. Let's just see if Sunflower can work here. I think we'll be able to use all five of these. What I would like is a nice desaturated yellow, but I don't think I have one. We could try putting like this warm gray. I'll keep it out. We also have the Ahu warm gray, which will probably be darker if you layer it on top. We'll keep these. All right, now next thing I need to do is definitely erase or sketch a little bit and add some simple line art. You go ahead and do that. This is a 0.3. I'm gonna keep it really simple. Make sure it's a nice big smile. Good enough. <laughs> it's a sketchbook. That's my favorite thing about drawing in a sketchbook is it really doesn't matter. It really emphasizes the fact that you're learning as you draw. Not always about creating something perfect. I feel like I should put some kind of logo here. Like a sport logo, matching one on the top. <laughs> put that same logo down here. <laughs> the three lines. 
I'll try to make this shoe match that one. I usually have at least one good shoe in a drawing, you know? <laughs> they don't always match. Hmm, not too bad. Oh, we didn't do the hair. Whoopsie. That seems important. There we go. Let's go ahead and erase the rest of this. All right, now for color. I have to decide where I want dark tones, where I want light tones, and make sure there's a decent amount of contrast. Why don't we go mid-tone for the skin, then we can really, because the skin is something that kind of shows through in a lot of different places, and then, depending on what's around the skin areas, we can either go darker or lighter, and then the skin shouldn't blend in with any of the clothes, so. We want Y11, I'm glad I labeled those. <laughs> Let's go ahead and add a base tone to everything. Yellow is also one of those colors that'll lift line art more than some other colors might, so you gotta be really careful or you will see the gross bleeding and lifting. And since she's working out, she'll probably won't have makeup on, so I'm gonna try and avoid too much shading around the eyes with other colors, well, with other markers. <laughs> And it's gonna be difficult for me because that's one of my favorite things to shade. <laughs> we can give her a slightly darker lips, maybe with the Y3 and maybe the nose and cheeks, but try and avoid the eyes. Oh, that color works perfectly. I'm gonna use this for a little shading maybe. Not too much because these are the only colors we've got. I kind of want to color this whole section a little bit darker like it's being pushed into the background. Now I'm kind of feeling this warm gray one in the Ohu for these like contrasting sections of the leggings. Ooh, this is a juicy marker. I must not use this one much. This might also work really well for a hair color. It feels really natural to me. It's like a blonde. Might go over that actually with the Y11. So it's actually the skin tone again, just to make that a little bit more yellow. And maybe the same for these. Make sure it always looks yellow. <laughs> Not a super amount of contrast there. We might have to go over it with another color, but for now, let's just make sure everything has a color. And we can leave some things white, like this might be a fun thing to keep white. For shoes, I kind of want to grab that Y2 color and then leave white accents. Actually, well, we could do white shoe with these yellow accents. So like the laces, and the sole, maybe this little section. All right, I'm a little nervous about this, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and color in the leggings in this sunflower color. Kind of thinking about coloring over these things. What will that look like? I'll definitely start here since I want this to be darker anyway. That kind of works. This is just a little too on the orange side. Would be my biggest regret. Add a little bit of the really light yellow down here. And add some shading too. Blend out some of these areas. What color did I use? I think I used this for like the reddish tones. Our cute, happy little workout girl. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, let's move on to the next character. I kind of like that I'm mixing in pencil liner color, pencil liner color, because then you can't get too bored of any one step. <laughs> Although I'll never get bored of sketching. I love you. All right, so next is going to be orange. I wonder if I'll be able to squeeze in red here. We'll see. If I can draw a character that's pretty slim or sideways or something that fits that space, or even just sitting or something. Orange isn't really making me think of much, so I'm just gonna sketch a character out here. Should I try and keep them like the same size roughly, like they're standing in the same vicinity, or just go sketchbook style? I could just color whatever I feel like being orange. I don't know, orange still isn't like, I'm like trying to think while I'm drawing, like what? What does orange make me think of? And, uh, I'm drawing blanks. Let me try something else. I'm trying to just, I think I do want them to all look like they're standing on the same plane of existence. Mm, hmm, this one is, <laughs> can you see how different my confidence is drawing masculine body types? Whew. Actually, let me try, because I wanted to kind of fit three characters in here. I'm going to try and keep this one in a very slim amount of space. I'm going to have them like standing sideways. And of course, I'm just blowing past my rough sketches, <laughs> drawing whatever I wanted. Okay, well, it's one of those days, I see. <laughs> I just don't have any confidence when it comes to drawing dudes. Here, I'm going to try something crazy, but I'm going to put myself, pretend, I'm going to say I'm drawing a girl, and then maybe we can like trick myself and turn it into someone else afterwards. Orange obviously makes me think of oranges, 
So what if the alpha is kind of inspired by citrus in some way? Hmm? Okay, can I turn this into a more masculine figure here? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me see, let me see, let me see. I managed to draw something, so the trick half worked. Now let me see if I can uh, make this look more like a dude. Ooh, I think it might have worked. Oh my gosh, that's so silly. Why can't I do it? <laughs> okay, this might have worked. Oh, but I didn't do arms. Uh-oh. This is gonna this is gonna be a problem. It's almost like people are just people and it shouldn't stress me out this much. Ooh. Let's try just crossing them in front of the chest. A bit more standoffish. That took longer than was necessary. Actually, it took exactly the amount of time it needed to to look like this. So I need to be less hard on myself. <laughs> now for an outfit. Oranges. Oranges grow in warm climates. Hmm. Warm climates have a particular fashion because they don't want to sweat too much. So you could do like a bathing suit. I don't know. Obviously people don't only swim in warm climates, but you could give them like, um... oh, what about like a, what's that tropical shirt? Heard it called a Hawaiian shirt, but like a pattern. Maybe it's just, I don't know what it's called. That doesn't sound right. I don't know. So maybe this isn't swim trunks after all, but it's just shorts with a button, with a collar. Try it, draw a collar. I'm getting tourist vibes. I'm gonna give him socks and sandals. <laughs> How random is that? Makes the character a little bit more uh, unique. <laughs> and curls on the top of the head. Let's go ahead and erase it though and start adding in some line art. Add a little extra detail here. They look like cargo shorts, but they're not, so... Oh, well. Oh, and these foldy arms. Okay, not my best, but... <laughs> Ooh, I'm trying, I'm trying. Ooh, this hair's kind of turning out nice. Kind of looks like Hercules. Okay, okay. Color. This time I think I'm gonna try darkest color for skin maybe and then work down from there. I don't know. I just want to change it up from the last one. Let's try it out. Oh, that is sunburnt. Ooh, this guy forgot his sunscreen. If I colored the other stuff though, it might make this look a lot more subtle. Here's wire 15 for the shorts. What would happen if I layer this on top? Not much. Could be a good hair color too. Now grab my lightest color in the shirt and then add in the pattern on top of that with a darker color. Color in socks as well. Just add in a pattern. Fun uh, tropical looking shapes. I don't know. Kind of lost the orange essence I feel like. I mean character is very orange but like the citrusy vibe that got me here. That's what I'm saying. That YR3 and add in some more contrast here. They kind of look like fall leaves more than tropical. But we get to keep going. Move on to the next one. Just start sketching. Send some horns. Red's like the color of passion and anger and everything. So what about someone in like a... Why do I want... I really want to draw like a ball gown. Kind of have some uh, edges to the character's face. This might get real angry. <laughs> I want to want to go dark around the eyes. Let's put a veil on it, you know? Abandoned at the altar. Or maybe she's just this angry about getting married. This is her happy face. Some kind of design to the veil. Do we want the veil to like hang off the horns? <laughs> this whole area up here feels really haphazard. Hap, 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 hazard. Hap, hazard. There it is. Some earrings, because this is a special occasion. Pull the veil back a little bit. There we go. This is kind of fun, interesting. Let's uh, go ahead and erase a little. All right, line art, line art. This will be my chance to really play up the makeup too. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this veil. Kind of supposed to be translucent in some way, I would think. I think I'll just go ahead and draw the hair like that. And then the veil will have to go on top of it somehow. Something like this. Oh, and then I wanted this part to kind of come out front. So if I just draw like the squiggles and then add in all the other bits. I'm kind of excited to color this one. This one looks like fun. <laughs> okay, I want that dress to be like mm, red. So let's see what we got. 
yes like that's kind of the color i'm thinking i think i want the lipstick red yes for the dress okay yeah, i'm gonna go do that now before i even pick out the other colors Ooh, but what do I want to do for the veil? I'm going to need something lighter for the veil. I have this R0. R00, pinkish white. We could, like, take this and kind of color sections that overlap itself. Because that would be lighter because the light sections are overlapping. And the areas where there's nothing behind it either. But, like, obviously this can all still be lipstick red. Looking fab, girl. <laughs> kind of like how it's kind of looking like a rainbow going across the page. That was like, that was the dream here. It's a slightly different color in places. Dress a little bit more variety, which I think will in turn make it look even more expensive. And who doesn't want an expensive wedding gown? <laughs> Why can I not color inside the lines properly today? <laughs> this marker's trying its best. All right, now I want a slightly lighter red. Maybe like R24 for behind the veil. Might blend it out with an even lighter color. See if I can do a little bit of blending. Honestly, I think the veil is looking too white, so we might need to go you know, with the prawn. This is kind of one of my first attempts drawing something transparent, so this is actually really cool. I've only ever done this like digitally, and it does not work the same way. I can tell you that right now. There we go. I feel like all my Copic markers are on their way out. I guess I use them too much. <laughs> Let's go with this really dark garnet horns. Actually, that would have worked really well for the hair. Shoot. Oh well, because we're doing like makeup and stuff too. Connect to that. Even use this on top of some of the dress. Just to play with the saturation of it. Do you think I want to go over that with something else though? Darken it up a bit. The skin though, I want it to definitely be a color, um, but I don't know what to do here. I kind of already spread out pretty thin with all the colors. There's no colors that I haven't used that don't interact with a section of the skin. Try sardonyx. Kind of what I used around here though. Eh, it's probably not gonna work. It's just too pink. It's not like red enough for me. You know what? We could have our hands kind of blend out into the same kind of color around our eyes. I think I want that closer to black, actually. So let's grab a gray and go on top of it. Really darken it up. Make sure it stands out from the dress as much as we can get it to. Don't want it to blend in too much. And I think I'll also darken up around the eyes with this as well. Any color can be black, so we're allowed to use that. It's just a very desaturated dark red. Cool how that works, isn't it? Might as well go for it. Oh yes, look at that gradient. Beautiful. We can do it at the bottom of the dress. Oh, okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, I like this so much better now. Let's take a peek. Whoop. And that is why I skipped a page for this. <laughs> I'm not as dumb as I look. All right, I think there's definitely room for at least two more characters here. I'm not sure if I want to keep squeezing them though. It looks a little squashed. After red is purple though, isn't it? <laughs> I also want him to be looking to the left because these last two characters were looking to the right and that's bothering me. But that's just a personal preference. Purple makes me think of like shyness and stuff. So let me maybe draw a character with like a scarf covering their face. Maybe a hat covering their <laughs> top of their head. Maybe they're just really cold. Kind of want to draw a stripey scarf. I'm kind of excited about that. What's really weird about doing this is I don't usually color all of my sketches and like seeing them all colored and finished feels a little weird because they're not all my best and that's what sketches are. <laughs> Do one of those like really long sweaters. Blue is normally considered more cold so I might have jumped the gun but I don't care. <laughs> okay let's go ahead and erase this sketch. It has some line art. This one I definitely just went with my <laughs> First gut instinct. I draw on these hands. A little depth to the line art. Erase, erase, erase. Oh shoot, I forgot the hat. Only a couple lines. Kind of want to draw a bunch of hair sticking out too. I feel good. Add a fun shape at the top. Let's go with it. No sketch. Woo! Crazy beans. <laughs> I've got violets and I've got blue violets. Which, I'm not sure what the difference is. Let's go this for the skin. Purple, purple, purple. If I'd realized how little skin was showing, I might not have picked this color. 
I like it so much. She's cold. She'll probably be blushing a lot. Now we need something dark. Maybe for the hair. Maybe for the boots as well. To pull that same tone down lower in the drawing. Maybe a little near the eyes. For her sweater. It's like bluer than the other purple. Which is kind of going against you, Vember. Because it's changing the hue. But, again. This is for fun. <laughs> It's a Huevember themed sketchbook spread, not a Huevember challenge. There you go. She kind of looks a little bit like sadness, I just realized. I think it's this color right here. It reminds me of sadness. All right, now we just have to do that scarf. I was excited about it, but now I'm nervous. We could try and just mix every single color, but like make sure I have a pattern to it. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the caps from all the brush in. Chow, I can stick it on the other arm. Hello. Let's see what this looks like as a stripe. And then that would just repeat. Oh, the two darkest colors are right next to each other. Maybe not the best idea. Let's move that right before. Let's move it two up. Let's go ahead and try this out. Start up here, right in the middle. I think what's really gonna help sell this is that the pattern is always the same. So let's try not to mess it up. Okay, yeah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Keep going. All the way down. I really hope I haven't messed up. I don't think I have. It's pretty simple. Just pick one up on this side, color it in, move it to the other side. Oh, I really like that. That's pretty. I wonder what this looks like in sped up. The picking up, the putting down, the coloring. That actually looks kind of cool. I like it. That was worth it for sure. Make sure I put the caps on the right ones here. I do kind of want to take cool gray and shade a little bit with that too. And there we go, we got our purple girl. Woo! What if I draw blue and green as like a couple? <laughs> so they're all technically one drawing. Ooh, is that a cheat? That might be a cheat. So I'm gonna draw them like cuddling. I haven't drawn another dude in a while. Probably should include one of those. That's not really cuddling. Their faces are nowhere near each other. Let me see, let me just see where this goes. I like it already. <laughs> what is it? I blame you, sir. I want to play up the contrast between like the girl's body shape and it's more curvy maybe and then his is more square. That could be fun. How do people bend? How do people bend? I ended up drawing her looking to the right, didn't I? Well, 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 I literally just noticed that. <laughs> She's so much smaller than him. It's a little creepy. Since I don't really know how to draw people of different ages except by drawing them smaller. This is just a personal flaw of mine, so I just wanna make sure they look similar ages. I keep forgetting to draw the necks on my dudes. Oops. They say drawing two characters interacting is like the hardest thing to do in the world, so I don't know why I called this a cheat. Not hardest things to do in the world. What are the hardest thing to draw character-wise? Jeez, I'm just over-exaggerating everything. They're so much smaller than everybody else. <gasps> no! Okay, breathe, breathe. Is that something I'm okay with? Well, now that I get an idea of the pose, I should be able to draw it again, right? Right? That's how knowledge works, right? Try not to take it so seriously and maybe I'll do better. I don't think I actually drew it any bigger. I just drew it higher. It doesn't help that it's kind of like a Santa's knee pose. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. Do I even want to go through with this? Anymore? I think what I need to do is pull her butt off of his knee there a little more. Here we go. It'll pull everything down a bit. Okay, she looks older now though, so that's a plus. But now her butt's so much lower than his. What is happening? Oh! And if I pull his down anymore, I feel like it's gonna look a little weird. I don't know. I'm just using like straight lines at this point. I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, this isn't that bad on. So I shouldn't be too negative about it. Just trying to figure it out. She looks like a Dr. Seuss character. I haven't even thought about clothes yet. Uh huh. But I think a ponytail might be nice to fill in this space. Can I pull her butt up a little here? Maybe. That's not that bad. Okay, maybe. Here we go, here we go. We got a pose, we got a pose! Yes! And then hair. Hair, 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 hair. They both need some hair, I think. You know what I haven't done? The half up, half down do. So, uh, 
Let's try that. It's just such a weird angle. I don't usually draw faces in this angle. So I'm like trying to figure this out. Let's just keep trying. What's gonna be fun is the way that the green's gonna end up on this side and the blue's gonna end up on that side. And I'm excited for the colors. I'm gonna give them a man bun. What about those like shaved on the sides man buns? A little bit of facial hair there. I don't know. Just gonna have to keep it real simple for the outfit, I think. <laughs> I've spent too long. I am falling out of love with this drawing. <laughs> if I don't do the liner now, I'm gonna wanna burn this. So let's do that next. Quickly add in some line art so that we can do color. Swoopy hair. Oh shoot, this is her hand up here. It's only kind of really her thumb though, isn't it? Just thumb like that. So there's my attempt at some interlocking fingers. Those shoes are a little too pointy for cargo pants, but we never said this man had a sense of style. There we go. Whew. I think I got everything. I'm so glad that I don't have to think about making any more changes, because I can't. And what are they sitting on, you ask? This thing. Here's what I've got for blue. Let's put them in uh, color order here. That one's a little off color hue here, so I'll put that one back. I'm gonna lose this second to lightest color for skin this time. Gonna need a little bit of blush. Look, use this color for the legs. Cause I wanted them to be like with tights. Not sure you can actually tell that that's a darker color though. Could grab like a light, cool gray. Put that on top. Let's do the top and the boots the same color. I'm thinking this one. Actually, wait, 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 wait. This one. Ooh, that is beautiful. That's like that Jolly Rancher blue we were using in watercolor for the skirt and maybe the hair. We'll see. Put it all in. Add a little hair over here, maybe. That's it for the blue. Now for green or turquoise or something. Let's see what we got here. Let's go ahead and use this for the skin. It's nice and saturated. I love how there's just like green sticking out there. It's kind of fun. It's different than these because they're interacting. He apparently does not have five fingers, I just realized. I could try a really light colored hair. Maybe he's blonde. I'm just trying to make it different than her. <laughs> I don't want to give it dark hair again. Maybe... Eh, I'm not sure about the light pants. Ah, oh, that's the drippy one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I like fill this one or something? A little too well? There we go. Sheesh. I just have a very, very dark spot right there. I thought it was this one. That's why I was not prepared. It's like a perfect khaki color. Well, a green khaki. All right, then we're left with this last color for the last two elements. The shoes. Could I use like a white gel pen for those laces? They did accidentally color over. Hey, that actually looks better. Oh, they love each other. Oh, so cute. Filling a couple spreads in my sketchbook just with a sketch is something I could like do continuously. But when I add in like line art and coloring, which are Whew, a little bit more intense for me. <laughs> kind of feeling a little burnt out. So I think it is definitely time to call it quits. I think this one might be my favorite. <laughs> oh jeez. I really like it as a spread. It's just so rainbowy. I also still really like this one. That one, that one holds up. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you knew what Huevember is and if you're participating yourself. I hope you enjoyed my little uh Huevember themed sketchbook spread. I'll see you guys all next week. I hope you have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye! Now to clean all this up.